Welcome. This is an introduction to time series machine learning. Let's lift up the curtain and expose the inner workings behind the time series machine learning algorithm, which powers telomeres, quantitative research, and asset price forecasts. First up, we have the input data. It is the most important aspect of any model. This is true to an even greater extent for machine learning because data plays a primary role in the modeling process. By analyzing the widest spectrum of instruments possible across multiple asset classes, across multiple timeframes, we maximize our pattern detection potential alongside gaining the ability to extract the interactions between assets. Only the most granular data will suffice. So we make extensive use of tick data, which is on a trade by trade basis. This allows us to perform the full spectrum of transformations and sampling techniques to squeeze out every last drop of information. Our time series model is actually an ensemble of state of the art machine learning algorithms. Each algorithm has been trained on billions of data points and has become an expert at detecting a particular set of patterns, such as momentum and trend following, autocorrelation and mean reversion, cyclicity, outliers and anomaly detection, volatility expansion and breakouts. Together they form a set of diverse predictors with each of their outputs being passed through a voting system to add robustness, generalizability, and to create a measure of certainty. The universe of both classic and deep architectures are leveraged depending on data availability and performance. Combining disparate ML architectures reduces out-of-sample variance, known as overfitting. K-nearest neighbor models help find historical events that are mathematically similar to the current one. Deep neural networks aid in modeling the complex market microstructure. Convolutional neural networks are used for anomaly detection and to exploit transfer learning opportunities. LSTM and attention architectures excel at extracting the temporal information prominent in time series. Generative adversarial networks help identify any underlying distributions and are used to extend datasets. Finally, reinforcement learning is used to tackle optimization problems throughout the entire stack. All of these components work together to form the ML model's output. This is probably a great time to stress that we do not see machine learning as a replacement for well-grounded fundamental research, but instead it should be used alongside it. Although we pride ourselves on having spent many thousands of hours studying and trading in various financial markets, we're also well aware of our limitations. Machine learning is simply the best tool we have for analyzing vast amounts of data and coming up with an accurate, repeatable, and scientific hypothesis.